I'm going to be showing you 10 items from my collection which covers Sex Pistols and Assorted Punk. Right, so first we've got the album cover art of Punk with a forward by Malcolm McLaren. Uh, let's see what year this was. Uh, Collins and Brown. Uh, let's have a look. 1998. Okay, so we've obviously got the Ramones there. There's a forward by Malcolm in his Teddy Boy <laughs> gear. Uh, there's the New York Dolls. Sham 69, The Jam, The Damned, album art from, let's see, when's it from? From the last 20 years. So let's see what the very last ones are. Okay, that's not it. So the last, oh, that's not right. So the last ones are sort of squitty, pilitty and stiff. Okay, but anyway, so that's a nice book. The album cover art of punk. A visual history of seven inch, 12 inches, and rare album releases from the Pistols uh, Retro Publishing. So, if you're a collector, this is a Bible really of every release with details. So, let's pick one of the items actually here. So, we'll go through. Okay, so let's have a look. Here, we've got Anarchy in the UK, I Want to Be Me, the French 7-inch, released in July 1977. Okay. Which leads me on to the next item. The single, Anarchy in the UK, Band in the UK, and uh, let's have a look at that. There it is. It's missing its middle bit. It's not fantastic condition, but it's very scarce. And this I picked up from a record shop in Dorking, of all places, called Spin Sounds. Uh, and I'm going to be doing an episode about that. Uh, but yeah, that's a really nice seven inch. If you've got it or if you've got any other rare ones, put a note in the comments. Let's get on to the next item. Right, so this is a recent item, but it's a limited item and it's from the magazine Vive La Rock, and it's uh, Punk Lives, which was a magazine, very short-lived magazine, looking at punk, and this is the issues one to six complete, a Becky Bondage print. Let's have a quick flick through. Okay, the legendary punk magazine lives again. It's it's very magazine -y. It's not it's not got a hardback, so it's kind of like a thing, but let's have a look. Now, let's just go here. So look, we'll have a quick flip through. There we are. It's basically issues one to six, and I think they may even be doing the next set. I think if this one goes well, I'll put a link in the description if you want to uh, know where to get it. As I said, it's from Viva Rock. They've done some great stuff. And, uh, I think it's a really nice item to put in your collection. Let's get on to the next one. Right, another book, Punk. This was $55. Punk in its own eyes was a disposable culture. Though these fanzines, flyers and posters were manufactured cheaply on the sly, the Xerox machine was king. The artwork that constituted the basis for Xeroxes was more often than not lost. Okay, so this is basically a book archive. Oh look, that's the crass. Crass Imagery by G. So it's basically a book of all the kind of fanzines and punk art and stuff. Look, it's fantastic. Absolutely fantastic item. Okay, so Rizzoli, New York, edited by Johan Kugelberg and John Savage. Essays by William Gibson, Linda Sterling and G Voucher obviously from crass proper proper coffee table book that so that's quite a nice uh, item and that's in my archive enemy back in the day featured punk and this was a 
Enemy Original Magazine, which covered interviews and reviews and rare photos from uh, from the magazine. The nice thing is it's glossy and obviously Enemy was a horrible paper. So it's got the Jam, Strangers, Dan, Blondie, Elvis Costello. Now I don't actually know when this was released. I'll try to see if there's a date anywhere. I don't think there is. No idea. No idea. Anyway, it's a few years old. Normally it would say there, wouldn't it? So it's a few years old. It's basically the original bits and pieces from the enemy. So it's a nice, nice thing to have. Let's get back here. The jam there. Single reviews. And then obviously here's all the stuff about the pistols. Nice. So this is Carry On Sex Pistols. Uh, let's get it out of here. So we've got the sleeve there, you can see Rotten Bar, Swindle, Fatty Jones, Chocolates, the Sid Dole there, Piss Lemonade, Gob Ale. Okay, and this is in really very nice condition. Look, let me show you. Look at that. And the track listing. The, the complex world of John Rotten. Sex Pistols will play. Okay, and then we've got the very name Sex Pistols from Beyond the Grave and some other bad language. So, this was the real cash in on the pistols from the label. Uh, I got this from the record shop, which I'm going to be doing the uh, episode on in Dorking. I picked that up and I think it's a really nice addition to my little collection. Right, next, one of the greatest albums, punk albums, never mind the bollocks, here's the Sex Pistols, the original Analog Master. Apart from it, probably sounds a bit better, some bits and pieces. But yeah, I've not seen another one of those. Um, does it say when it was released? Yeah. So, anyway, nice. If you're going to have a CD version, it's nice to have the 21st anniversary edition. Right, next. So this is a nice big book hardcover called The Bag I'm In, Underground Music and Fashion in Britain from 1960 to 1990. So it's not predominantly about punk, but obviously it's going to cover punk. So let's just have a flick through. Okay, okay. And here's the here's the punk section, 76 to 78. Some nice rare pictures. So it's a quite a scarce book, I believe. Uh, and let's have a look when it was released. For the Headbangers, Violet and Herbie. Okay, thank you for that. Uh, when was it released? I've got no idea when this was released. No idea. Anyway, the bag I'm in, Sam Nee. Nice book on my, from my collection. Right, let's get on to the next item. I've also got a Sex Pistols mug. I don't know where I got that. If I do know where I got that, I got that from a pound shop. Anyway, that's nice when I'm drinking a cup of tea. Right, let's get the next item. Now my final item in this little video is John Lydon's solo album, which is called Psycho's Path. Now the reason this is particularly special is because it's signed. And John told me that that is supposed to be his head representing a hamburger. Um, now I met John uh, and the episode is on YouTube. Uh, I'll put a link in the description. I've also got an episode of John in Dorking, which has done fantastically well. I think this solo album is brilliant. I really like it. Uh, I like the tracks on. I like all the all the tracks on it. Uh, it was under promoted by Virgin. Uh, if you read John's autobiography, he tells you all about it. But I think it's a I think it's a great uh, great CD, great album. So. 
there's 10 items from my collection if you liked it if you made it this far please like the channel subscribe to the channel uh, share the show with your friends uh, i've got plenty more items in my collection if you'd be interested in seeing the next 10 then leave a comment uh, and let me know what you think and do check out some of the other episodes Hope you uh, enjoyed the, the episode and enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks for watching.